down. Hi, long awaited vlog update. I'm not in my office anymore. I'm actually in our guest room. Let me just put this down for you guys. I'm actually in our guest room right now because the um, there was a leak in the attic from the AC unit that caused like our ceiling to warp, um, the ceiling in my office. So it's getting repaired right now and I'm in the guest room trying to create content, still do that stuff um, while my office is being repaired. And it sucks, the situation sucks, but I'm also kind of excited because I get to deep clean and like deep shampoo, like, what is it? Shampoo the carpets. I have like a, one of those um, Bissell ca carpet shampooers and we used it in this guest room after I like redid the whole guest room. And I'm so excited to do it in my office. And then after all that shampooed, I'm actually considering like changing around the layout of the furniture and everything. So <sighs> things are a little wonky. Creating content is going to be very inconsistent for the next week or two because the work is going to take about four to five days to do. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to shampoo and set everything up. So I'm going to be out of commission out of that office for a week. So things are gonna be a little wobbly and it's gonna take me a couple weeks to catch up on that. So <laughs> um, hopefully I don't miss a beat, but if I do, you guys will have already known about it because these vlogs tend to like come out weeks after I record them. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to my nail room, my creativity place and um, we recently had to replace the entire ceiling because a, a huge leak happened right there and right there because of an AC unit that is directly above my office and then I uh, fell through the roof trying to get the water out. Long story short, we had to replace every inch of the ceiling in this room and I'm fixing, patching some holes right now. So I feel like I have a new office and I decided to reorganize everything since I had to take everything out and then put it back in again i like shampooed the carpets everything deep cleaning it feels like spring cleaning but get going into fall anyways i'm rearranging everything and uh, i don't know what i'm doing i really don't know how i want this to look but right now i'm liking the feel of having a desk there if I can turn it into one, I'm still not sure. Having a desk here and having a desk there. Um, some people are probably like, why do you need so many desks? Because I do, Sharon, because I do. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. No, seriously, I really don't know um, what the end goal on the arrangement in the office is right now. So the way I like to do things is that if I make any changes to like furniture, rearrange things, I like to like live in it for two to three weeks before I make any like permanent decisions like drilling things into the wall such as um, my pegboards. I'm not putting those back up until like probably a month from now because I wanna be 100% certain that I want things the way they are before I put pegboards in places that end up, I'm like, I don't want it there. I don't want it there. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So this is where the leak originated in our AC unit directly above the vent in my office. So I'm going to show you guys the damage. This was the damage to the ceiling where I fell through trying to get to the water source so that we could stop the water from leaking. And then here is a lot of the area where the leak happened. But this area right where this vent is, is predominantly where most of the leak started. That's where we started noticing it. And at first I thought it was condensation, but nope, it was a leak. So we take water damage very seriously in this house and we do not want it to sit in the walls, on our wood, anything. So we called a company and they gave us a great price and they gave us a price to replace the entire ceiling. It was not much more than just replacing the three damaged parts. So we opted for the entire ceiling to be replaced and they truly did an incredible job. We were so happy that they kept us up to date with all the progress and everything and the price was extremely reasonable and they also offered to paint my ceilings, which I was so happy about. But here you can see all of the work that they did. Um, I'm not sure if you guys care about this, but we were very, very happy with the service that they provided us. And um, they're local to Houston. So if anybody here lives in the local Houston area and wants a very incredible like father and son duo company to hire, we highly recommend them. They did an incredible job and I couldn't be happier with the ceiling. 
Hey nail queens, so uh, I was hoping by now I would have like my nail room um, more put together, but I'm like still patching holes. Yesterday I finally got that pegboard put up after uh, several anchors, wall anchors, not working. I should have read the reviews because they were trash. But I got some new ones that actually worked. Anyways, it has been so much fun trying to get my office back to, not even back to what it was because I'm like doing other things. I turned this to like an art painting station because I'm getting back into my crafting hobby that I miss so very much. And I don't know, things are like, <sighs> the ceiling thing, by the way, it looks incredible. Can y'all see that ceiling? It looks perfect i'm so excited anyways uh the ceiling and its thing happening and all that i'm so glad we got it replaced and like the bright side is it gave me an opportunity to redo my office and like switch things around um make more space more optimal and everything i'm just still not sure about how i want certain things to be done and like the orientation of them i'm considering moving my nail desk back to where i had it and then moving my clerical desk back to where i had it but i'm just like I don't know. I want a new desktop. I want a new desktop right there and everything. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It means spending more money. And I'm like, I don't want to spend money. I, don't want to, I got a wedding to plan. It's so much money. Have y'all planned a wedding? Holy moly. I'm like, anyways, enough wedding talk. Here is me and Miss Ivy. Yes, we named her. She's very skittish. She likes to be near you. But then if you go to touch her, she's like, no. She'll do her flops, like when cats like flop on the floor. And usually for my other cats, that means you can touch me, you can pet me. For her, it's no, 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 no petting allowed. Um, sometimes she lets you pet her though, which is a miracle. You're so cute, Miss Ivy. Yes, you are. How are you cute? Anyways, I wish that this vlog was something more interesting, but this is literally the current phase of my life um, in my nail room. It's hopefully in September or October, I will have something more interesting for you guys. I actually have a lot of things going on in September um, with my personal life, so I probably will not be doing a creator vlog in September, and I apologize for that. So do we Let's not talk about you. Your cloud is on.